I'm here at Our Lady of Guadalupe Church in Los Angeles, where Safety is Our Priority program is in full swing targeting Hispanic children. It's a program in partnership with faith-based organizations, the Children's Hospital of both Cincinnati and Los Angeles, and Toyota. It's about educating Hispanic moms and dads about vehicle safety and how to keep their children safe while driving. With me today is Andrea White of Toyota. Welcome, Andrea. Thank you. Good to be here. Tell us why you're targeting Hispanics. Uh, what we have found is that the statistics for uh, children who are injured in accidents uh, is quite a bit higher uh, than compared to the regular Anglo population. Uh, there also is some uh, evidence uh, coming out of the uh, Cincinnati Children's Hospital as well as uh, the Center for Disease Control that, uh, that Latino families are less likely to put their kids into their seat belts and into their car seats and it simply is a matter of education and that is something that we're absolutely dedicated to. And this is Helen Arbogast representing Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. That's right. So how do you guys tie in with faith organizations and Toyota? Absolutely. It's a natural marriage, honestly, for us. Um, Toyota's very committed to safety. Children's Hospital Los Angeles provides injury prevention resources. And we know one of the best ways to get to our communities is in the communities. And the faith-based initiative is just that. It allows for us to gain access to community members, to provide education around child passenger safety, around car seat safety, educating teens, parents, and the children around child passenger safety, all while building capacity within the community. When we come into the churches, we not only facilitate the education, but we also provide opportunities to train the Bible school, the Sunday school teachers, the priests, the leadership, so that when the problem is, oh, when the program has ended, that they're able to educate their parishioners and continue the program well beyond our time. Pediatric surgeon Dr. Rebecca Brown of Cincinnati Children's Hospital was on hand to raise awareness with the kids in attendance. A guy with a yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. So, hi, I'm Dr. Rebecca Brown and I'm from Cincinnati Children's Hospital and we're here today at a celebration of safety event where we celebrate our Buckle Up for Safety event. Did you guys go through? And as one of the uh, parts of our safety program, we do a uh, demonstration. So we have a demonstration of the children when they're buckled up. So we uh, you demonstrate this with an egg and this is your head, right? And your head is like, no. what, what's inside your head? Brain. My brain. Right, and what I'm happens blood. if you crack your skull? You um, die. Yeah, you It opens. Yeah, and then yeah, and basically what we do is we, we show them no. what happens when yeah, you wear your seatbelt and when you don't wear your seatbelt. Do you always wear your seatbelt now? I yeah. do. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So when you wear your seatbelt, here's your seatbelts, right? Let's put it the other way there. So this is Miguel, and Miguel's going to wear his seatbelt. He's going to be a good boy today and wear his seatbelt. So let's show him what happens when we wear our seatbelt. Huh? The store with mommy, you're wearing your seatbelt. Let's let it go. Oh, Miguel is safe, huh? Yay. Look. <laughs> State Senator Ed Hernandez showed up to lend his support for Buckle Up for Life, and I asked him when he saw details of this program, what were his thoughts while driving? Well, that's why programs like this are especially important because. I really believe that the Latino population is uneducated with regard to safety issues. You look at a lot of the safety issues that are put on, on normal television, uh, American speaking television, they don't really get into the Hispanic media. So a lot of parents don't really understand that, especially if they speak Spanish. Programs like this are very important so that the community knows how safety, how important it is for safety for the kids. So, Helen, tell me about expansion. Where can this program be seen, or where can the uh, Hispanics uh, go to find this program? In Los Angeles, we're wrapping up at our, like, our Lady of Guadalupe Church here today. We are also going to continue at our Sacred Heart, which is about a mile and a half in Lincoln Heights, not far from here. We have three African-American churches that we're expanding to in South LA, and the Buffalo for Life National Program is expanding to other cities throughout the country, which include Denver, Chicago, and San Antonio. So they can look for it there. So where can they go on the website to check out some more information? They can come straight to us at injuryprevention.org. And once again, some good things happening for Hispanics by this terrific partnership between the Children's Hospital, Toyota, and faith organizations. Thank you for joining us.